bird on a tree. I'm just so hey everybody, welcome to my channel and I hope you've been having a good summer. I know it's starting to wind down just a little bit and I know some people are starting to think about fall and everything, but I have one more project to share for the summer and this is my little junk journal made using the like bees to honey digital collections from Salty Beach Scrapper. I will put a link to her Etsy shop below and like I said there's more than one this first one I have printed out all the papers and I'm going to share that with you and the second one we'll talk about that in just a minute so this first collection is formatted to eight and a half by 11 and I've just printed this image on plain white paper using my regular printer settings and I think that the colors and the image just came out beautifully. I was very happy with that and I think it's just got a lot of detail. The second one I printed out on copy dyed paper and I think that one came out just as well and I love the vintage look of it. Um, it just has such a soft and uh, more muted um, palette, but it just came out really pretty. And I've used both the, the copy dyed and the regular in my journal. And the rest of the images I printed out in a 4x6 size, which is the size that I mostly used for my project. I really like this first one. This little lady reminds me of... I think of Marie Antoinette, so I call this the Marie Antoinette page. <laughs> but anyway, just some beautiful soft images and lots of honeycomb patterns, bees. I like how she used the greens and the blues. Kind of breaks up some of the golds in the collection and it's just really nice. Um, lots of sunflowers and bicycles. There are some solid papers to go with the digital, like this bicycle here. And then there's one that is in a horizontal layout. And I've used this one twice in my journal and just did different things with it. So um, I'll show you that when we get there. Love this B paper. Oh, I like that. And then this is so pretty. So that is the first collection. So this is the ephemera page and I've just printed this out on the default setting which is 8.5 by 11 and you can see that it's cut off on the sides here. To get the square image in the section where I choose the photo size and the paper size and so on and so forth, there's a little box at, with next to it says fit to page and when I hit that then I'll get the square image. And so that's what I've done here. So this one's uh, eight and a half by eight and a half. So if you want the eight. All right. So this is only the second junk journal that I've ever made. So <laughs> there's a lot of woulda, shoulda, couldas. And um, but aside from the technical, I'm really happy with the way this turned out. And so this journal is four and an eighth inches wide, six and an eighth inches tall, with approximately two inch spine, which I wrapped with this fabric that I got at Walmart and then the front and back cover is the Marie Antoinette paper and I just printed that out eight and a half by eleven and then this uh, ephemera card and the on the front cover is one of my favorite images out of the collection and it's just this here and what I did is um, in my photo editor I just cropped it to about here. It came out this size and I was happy with that for the cover. So um, it is backed with some chipboard and the corners rounded and then yeah, just added all my little trims and stuff. Got a little eyelet um, holding the sari trim and uh, yeah, so that's the cover. So I'll just open this up here and while I'm doing that I can tell you that I um, inked all the edges with Vintage Photo Distress Oxide and then a lot of the papers are sewn with some yellow kind of a marigold color thread and I have my own tunnel page here so this this is actually no this is actually from a little book that I had and I 
to have because it's really not a book anymore. <laughs> and it's this little book of bees by Hilary Kearney, illustrated by Amy Holiday. And um, cute little book, lots of fun images and things in the book. So I've got some throughout the journal. And then I've just added this ribbon here for interest. And then on the very back cover here is another one of those papers from the book. Alrighty, so I have three signatures in the journal, approximately 36 pages. And each signature is covered with design paper from the Digital 2 collection. I printed those out 8x8 eight eight and then cut them to the size that I needed. And I'm not going to be able to go through each and every page individually and explain everything. And so I'll try to flip through um, as much as possible without saying anything. <laughs> um, anyway, so let's get started. And... Um, like I mentioned previously, I I copy or I printed these on coffee dyed paper as well as plain white paper. Um, but I have this one handy right here, and I just want to show you the difference because this was one of my favorite pages. Look at how I mean this is beautiful, but look at how absolutely incredible this turned out on the coffee dyed paper. I mean it looks so incredibly vintage. This looks like it came from an old stationery or an old book, and I just love this. It's so pretty. Anyway, just had to mention that because it's just so gorgeous. I have a few fabric tabs here and there on the pages, and that's just for fun. And anyway, uh, I have a, a little bee stamp that I've used here and there throughout the journal, and this here is a sandwich bag. And I get these at the grocery store. And so this is the bottom part of the bag. And then I have just trimmed the top of it right here, this side only, to make a pocket. And so I have um, some postcards in these pockets. Um, this is from the ephemera sheet that I printed out 8x8. Eight and so um, all of the ephemera that you see, the larger ephemera, is from that 8x8 eight eight sheet. And then the fussy cutting is also from there. There's going to be a few little itty bitty pieces, and those I printed out 5x5. Five five, okay? So you're going to see those throughout. Um, so this is the policy envelope. I just trimmed the end to make it a little pocket, and I just love how this whole layout looks. I mean that just looks so cute. This is just tissue paper I got at my local fish and chips and um, just some journaling space here and then oh my gosh right? Oh my gosh you guys look at how beautiful that is that with that green and so this um, is one of those that I told you I um, from the Digital 2 collection that um, it's formatted 8x8 eight eight, and I just printed it 4x4. Four four. And so you're going to see a few of those throughout the journal as well. And so this one I've made a side pocket and I've just got a little, you know, one of those little ephemera pieces that I've been collecting and it's just a little bingo card from the Valentine's collection. And then I've included some of the book pages from the book I showed you earlier, and this she had um, the author had like B facts all throughout the book, and so this was one of them. And this I picked you know one in one for each signature, and this was one of my favorites. It's about the telling of the bees. Okay, so I'm getting some cloud coverage here, so <laughs> at least I'm not going to get that glare from the sun anymore. Anyway, got a little fabric clip here. And so on these little short pages here, I've got a lot of those 4x4 four four images. And then made this page into a little pocket with a little ephemera. And on this page here, I've decoupaged a paper napkin. So this is the napkin. I got these from Amazon. And they're 
have an image on two sides. So I was able to do the whole journal with the one napkin. And um, so a little goes a long way. But anyway, it was my first try, and I've always wanted to do it. And so I'm sure it could have come out better. But uh, I think it's so pretty, though. I really like that. <laughs> and oh, this is the B design that I printed on copy dyed paper. I just love how that turned out. And got a few policy envelopes throughout the journal from my stash. And then some of the 4x6 pages I cut down to make little side pockets in the journal. There's a little, um, just a journaling card here from my stash. And um, then uh, this little ephemera piece I just made into a flip. Uh, just for fun, I don't know. <laughs> Add a little fabric ruffle here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, and then, uh, oh, just love how that came out. So beautiful with the green. And this is the top of that um, policy envelope and one of the little itty bitties. Now, on some of the ephemera, I used. Um, glossy accents. It just helped me be able to cut out the images better. Plus, I just really like the look of that. And um, so inside here, I just have a, a card that was in my stash. So throughout the journal, I have some Renee Bouquet's bees. And these are handcrafted, they're dimensional, they have these dimensional wings and glitter and uh, they're just so beautiful and I just had to include them in this journal. So you'll be seeing those here and there. And then I have a couple of lace pockets and uh, I think they always turn out so pretty. more of that B paper and that's the end of the first signature. Okay, so this one I've used this absolutely gorgeous lace that was gifted to me by Renee and oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It's got these little flower hearts on the edges. So pretty and then I've got a bingo card from my stash in here and then of course another one of Renee's bouquets, um, beautiful bees, so pretty. And I thought that this um, word from the ephemera just coordinated perfectly with that, so I had to put that there. And this one's printed on the copy die, it just gives it a nice vintage look. One of the little itty bitties. Got a little tuck spot here that's a little doily that I think was attached to a larger doily. So we have one of the shorter pages with the 4x4 image and it is also a little side pocket and inside I have one of those policy envelopes um, held on with a paper clip. And then I had experimented a little bit with trying to transfer the images on some of the papers and this was um, the result on the doily. Uh, most of them didn't turn out, <clears throat> excuse me, but um, I do have one that I want to show you that did come out and it's uh, on this policy envelope that I already showed you back here. And so I'll try to place the camera so that you can see that. Um, that was that yellow honeycomb paper and it just transferred in that little spot really well. The other side didn't transfer so well. <laughs> just that one little spot there. But anyway, I enjoyed it enough to just leave that there and just put the stamp over it so you could still see that. And okay, let me try to get back to where I was. And then this is the center of the second signature and this was that horizontal page and so I printed this out on copy dyed paper 
at eight by 10 and then I had to trim the heck out of it to, to get it to fit in the book. But I was pleased that I still had some of the bumblebees and the flowers left on the image. And I think it just came out beautiful. And then this one here is the same image. I just, before I printed it out, I cropped it to a square image and then printed it four by four. And I made a little fabric pocket here. And so there's a little journaling card in there. And added some washi tape here. Made a little belly band with some ribbon I got at Walmart. And I made a pocket with this um, piece of ephemera. And oh, I love this paper. Um, made a little tuck spot with the lace. And, but, oh, look at that. Oh, so pretty. Love that. Can you tell I like the green? I never thought I was much of a green person, but I'm absolutely loving this paper. And then here I have it behind the pocket here. And then um, I just wanted to show you the paper first. And then I'm going to tuck this little bingo card in there. But, oh, isn't that really pretty? And then last signature. Oh, pretty paper napkin <laughs> so I made this one a little tuck spot and I have a little um, one of those little envelopes coin envelopes I think they're what they're called and then um, just fussy cut the sunflower after I um, glossy accent over it and then inside here have some little itty bitties and a little ticket from my stash. Oh, sorry about that, the camera's moving here. And then, um, oh, forgot to mention, Renee Book KB. That's so cool. It goes so good with this paper collection. I've used this page before with the coffee dyed paper, but I love the white next to the yellow. It has such a soft, shabby look. It just came out super, super pretty. And another bee fact from our little bee book. And this one talks about dandelions and bees. And it had the picture of the dandelion with the bee here. Um, so I had to cut it out and, and put it in here and make a page. I just I couldn't break these two apart. I just thought that was so cute together. And what a beautiful image. Um, anyway, so I have a... This is a little side pocket. I just don't have anything in here as yet. And then I have a little glossy accented butterfly. And I just love the way this whole thing is set off with this. Um, um, I call it the grandma paper because it reminds me of my grandmother's furniture. <laughs> and then I have the center of the signature here. and. Um, originally I was going to put these uh, ephemera pieces in here, but you can see how lost they're getting. I mean, I think this is just really beautiful. The lace um, came out kind of dark and grungy, but um, I think I'm going to have to glue these on top. And then I'll still try to keep this as a pocket for some journaling papers or something like that. So. Um, I think eventually it's going to look like that. And then you're probably wondering what this paper is doing here in my B journal. And this is actually another image from the B book. And if you'll notice, little Eiffel Tower. And then I have Marie Antoinette here. And so, okay, I'm like, this is perfect together. And the story behind this is that, according to the little B fact, and I've got it folded up here, and I'm not going to read the whole thing, but according to the little B fact, the bees 
make hives on the top of the Notre Dame and then they actually survived the recent fire and it says when fire is near bees retreat deep into the hive and imbue themselves with honey to withstand the heat and I thought that was absolutely amazing so I had to keep this all together included in my journal I love that and then I have you know some blue um, seam binding that I ruffled here on the side and just so cute a lot of room for journaling here and for um, anything I want to add to that and then I have a graphic 45 tag that actually was in a card and this was the spot for the little gift card and I had used that and I thought you know this is so fun with the sunflowers that I just want to make this a journaling spot so I have a little journaling card here with room to write whatnot on the back and I just think that that's really cute and I like the ribbon on the top too so <laughs> and then uh, I just love this honeycomb paper it just looks like honey to me and I love the glossy accents on the ephemera here and then I have another lace pocket which I'm still contemplating I think I'm going to add a few things onto the lace and um, I'll have to make a tag to go in there and then on this page here I've taken one of the little itty bitties and made it into a little mini tag and I've included this little card that was in my stash and it says today is the day you will show them all if not today then tomorrow <laughs> I like that another little itty bitty on the back of this um, time card oh, and the bees and the, and the beehives together just so so pretty and that is it for the journal so I thank you guys for sticking with me and watching I hope you are inspired I hope that uh, you've enjoyed um, seeing these beautiful papers as much as I've enjoyed working with them. And uh, I hope that you uh, give me that little thumbs up too because that will really be helpful. And if you hit that notification bell, you'll be able to join me for my upcoming videos. I have been requested a couple times to make a tutorial for my little paper clip dangles and whatnot. So, um, I'm going to be making some that, that coordinate with this journal and I might even put them in here if I can squeeze them in and so you won't want to miss that so make sure you hit that notification bell and I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.